Lord Jesus, we bless your name for this brand new day. Thank you for allowing us to see uh, this week. And we just surrender ourselves to you and ask that even as we begin the day, the week, this show, that Lord, you would be glorified in all that we do, in all that we are. Thank you for our speaker, even as we dive into the word and look into Joseph's life and his character. Would you open up our ears and our hearts to hear and receive from you? For it's in Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. All right. Great. So let's take a look then at our scripture for the day. We're going to be reading from Genesis chapter 39, verse 2. And I'm going to read specifically from the Amplified Bible. And it says this, The Lord was with Joseph, and he, even though a slave, became a successful and prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian I'm going to read that again the Lord was with Joseph and he and he even though a slave became a successful and prosperous man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian that's Genesis chapter 39 verse 2 forming the text really of our discussions today around Joseph and to break down that Bible character for us we have joining us once again Jacob Jakfu Karibusana from Love and Grace Ministries. Yeah. You're well? Well. Good, up. good, good. I'm excited to get into Joseph's uh, Bible character. Mm. I mean he's one of the characters that really stands out to me personally yes. in the in the scriptures and even the verse that you've you've chosen here I mean a slave becoming yeah. successful and prosperous yeah. in his master's house. It's, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's definitely not what one would expect. And actually that verse says, and Joseph, even though a slave, the Lord was with him. And he was already, he mm. was a prosperous man mm -hmm. before he did anything. Mm. Then the next verse says that whatever he touched flourished. Mm. So success is not what you have. It's not where you are. Mm. It's who you have. Right. Before, uh, I believe being a slave, uh, in those days when a slave is being sold, you didn't have any clothes. Yeah. Because they have to check if you have skin diseases or anything. So he was sold to Egypt without any clothes, mm. and he was in a foreign land. Mm. And he, did, he didn't have anything like tangible. Mm -hmm. But the Lord was with him, and he was a prosperous man. Wow. Success is not what you have. It's not where you are. It's not where you are. It's who you it's have. It's who you have. Come on now. Okay. I like it. And um, the world's definition of success is what you have accumulated over time. Mm. And that's why people will do anything just to accumulate material things. Because mm -hmm. they think that's the definition of success. Mm -hmm. But God thinks from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. He says, if you have me, then you have all that you need. And then the Bible says that whatever Joseph touched, flourished. To me, it seems like we are blessed, then we manifest mm. because we have him. Mm -hmm. So you might be having all those other material things, but you, if you don't have God, you're not successful. Someone said, and I agree with him, that some people are so poor, the only thing they have is money. <laughs> yeah. And the Lord was with Joseph. Yeah. And he was, even though a slave, yeah. he was a prosperous man. Wow, fantastic. So as we dive further <coughs> into his character, I really want us to focus in on you know, what were his strengths? What, was his, what were his weaknesses? And maybe some of the core lessons that you'd want us to walk away with today. Well, um, uh, like two chapters before, chapter 39, that th 7, we see Joseph dreaming at 17 years of age. Right. Very young. Yeah. And he had big dreams that involved authority and dominion. Even over his family. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, he started sharing with his brothers. I think that was one of the weaknesses he started with sharing and pushing his dreams to people who don't dream. Mm. If God wanted them to have the dream, he would have given the dream in, the, in their sleep. Mm. But he only gave to Joseph. But he kept pushing it. And the yeah. more he pushed it, the more they hated him. And, and, and it speaks to a lack of wisdom really yes. on his part because, you know, if you've had <coughs> this phenomenal dream that now you're going to be the most prosperous person in your village, you don't go telling that to everybody <laughs> that, Unadja, I'm going to be bigger than you, I'm going to be greater than you. I mean, <laughs> you're inviting trouble. Yeah. So definitely there needs to be wisdom applied Yeah. that as God sort of reveals things to us or even as he blesses us, be careful that you're not, you know, yeah, causing you other people to feel bad about it, themselves yeah you have to have wisdom on who
who do you share with when do you want to share your dream with right uh, are the people that you maybe you consider and uh, i've seen a consistency in the bible like every time you announce your greatness that's when you start being persecuted mm. the day jesus read isaiah and said these scriptures have been fulfilled is the day he was kicked out of town mm -hmm. the day david was anointed and he killed goliath that's when persecution started mm -hmm. so every time there's a seed of greatness and it's seen that's when the devil starts persecuting you wow. so the fact that you have, you have started facing problems it doesn't mean that god has left you mm. it just means there's something the devil is trying to fight you wow so we can always uh, see what god is doing in our lives by the challenges we are facing because mm -hmm. there's a dream that is, uh, the devil is trying to kill uh, when they saw joseph coming his brother they said here comes the dreamer mm -hmm. let's now kill him and see what will become of his dream mm. so the target is actually not joseph is the dream mm -hmm. So they are against the dream. So um, amazingly, I love I love the story of Joseph because it it has really encouraged me in life. Yeah. And um, I'm imagining you're 17 years old, you have dreams, and you're expecting the next year, maybe you're turning 18, 20, you should be getting closer to your dreams. Right. But it happens opposite. Yeah. Like his brother sold him off, uh, sold him off to Ishmaelites and then to Egypt. Yeah. It's like he's headed in the wrong direction. Wow. He's getting further. From a dreamer to a house help. Yeah. But the Lord was with him. Mm -hmm. The fact that you don't seem to be getting closer to your dreams, it doesn't mean that God left you. the dream was invalid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe was God has God left, left you. Because yeah. that's the first impression we get. The Lord left him, that's why I'm suffering. And I'm thinking, he says in Isaiah, that his ways mm -hmm. are much higher than our ways. Mm -hmm. And his thoughts are much higher than our thoughts. Right. Sometimes things may not flow as we expected. We should not start doubting God. Like, God left him. I, I, I'm thinking, what would Joseph, you know, like, uh, he's now a house help. And he knows that that's a foreign country. He's not learned. Mm. He's just a teenager. But because the Lord was him, the Bible says, the next verse says that, that even Potiphar saw there's mm. something different about Joseph. Wow. Wow. And Fantastic. then he put him in charge. Mm. He became a supervisor. Mm -hmm. Because whatever he touched flourished. So the, uh, the uh, Potiphar said, if I put this man in charge of everything, that means my household will change. Yeah. And that's what exactly happened. Wow. How about we take a break right here? And then when we get back, we're going to continue this discussion. Uh, Pastor Jacob Jackfu here is going to continue just breaking down Joseph's character for us. And of course, you can send in your feedback and your comments. Remember, 111 is the new SMS line. Uh, so... <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. And I'm here with our pastor for the day. His name is Jacob Jackfu from Love and Grace Ministries. And we're going through the Bible character of Joseph. And uh, I'll be diving into that, uh, back into that in just a moment here. A reminder, though, that our SMS line has changed. It is now 111-444-111. That's 111 triple four triple one that's the sms line you can send in your feedback and your comments heading over though to facebook let me shout out a few of you who are engaging with me over there i have uh cuts art asante sana J mc jimmy washege asante sana you're watching as well from nyandara i have kamau gitari watumaini watching from um Ndabibi, central naivasha i have la la laughters water okay uh, tuned in from Larry in Campbell County. I have Essie Willie. Uh, you're watching from Narok. I have Clap Patrice Madai watching from Roero Bypass. Kamjoro Kamjoro Nanuki from Nanuki. Zablon Pius Gidinji from Nikipia. Jonte Susie Boy from Kino 87. Esther Thathi uh, watching from Voy. I have Bay De Asli. <laughs> Okay, tuned in from Machakos. Um, Mary Shicks from Thika, as usual. Karis Babake Chris, uh, tuned in from Ngong. Asanteni Sana to all of you. Remember, you can keep your feedback coming in to double two, triple nine, and I'd be more than happy to take your feedback. Let me touch on some of the SMSs I've gotten in now. Um, someone here is saying, Napenda kipindi chako dada Joyce, that's Samson, Nikiwa Likuyani, Kakamega. Thank you for that. Um, Linda says, you guys are helping us learn more about personalities in the Bible. Continue with the same spirit. Thank you for that. Um, 
Another says, Hey Joyce, I'm really blessed with the character of Joseph. Many other times we get angry with God because of situations in our lives, forgetting that everything all happens to the honor and glory of God and his timing is the best. That's Amunga watching from Wehoko. Thank you very much for that SMS right there. Remember, triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line and you can send in your comments. Um, with that said then, uh, Jacob, uh, looking at his character, of course, we've already identified it's great that this guy was a dreamer and he was really excited. Mm. I think there's, we also need to kind of acknowledge the excitement yeah. that he had yeah. about you know, God He's doing dream, something yeah. in, in his yeah. life and even just uh, believing mm. that God can actually do something in his mm. life. Because I think some of us, sometimes we get something in our spirit or we have a dream and we're kind of just like, I mean me, that mm. will never mm. happen. Yeah. Like God has never done yeah. anything for me yeah. in the past, you know, and we kind of have mm. that sort of conversation with ourselves. But he was so excited mm. to the point that he then <laughs> he kind of foolishly yeah. <laughs> went and kept mm. sharing it. But um, so that's the first lesson to learn from him, I guess, you know, mm. apply wisdom. Mm. Mm. But what are some of the other challenges in his life then that we can draw lessons from? One is being sold by his own blood, his own brothers. Uh, that's quite hurting. Mm. The people you expect to support you, they sold him off. And then now uh, he sold like a slave in Egypt. So he's a foreigner. He doesn't have a relative. So where d will he start? He starts like a household. You know, like it's quite opposite direction from his dreams. So maybe at that point, I would think as Jacob, I think it's about time I gave up. Those dreams meant nothing. Mm -hmm. But this guy, because he knew that God is with him, he kept going. And he wasn't mean. He said like, he wouldn't say, uh, uh, down, down to uh, uh, chapter uh, 39, the Bible says that, and the Lord blessed the house of Potiphar mm. for Joseph's sake. Mm. So he carries a blessing into a foreign country and he's not mean. And then the next minute, because the Bible says he was handsome and good looking, young, strong, Potiphar's wife noticed him and she wanted to sleep with him. Mm -hmm. And Joseph says, I can't do that. How can I do this thing and sin against God? Not even Potiphar, no. against God. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and my question here was, uh, many of the time we think, oh, Joseph really followed Moses' law. Thou shalt not commit but Moses was not born. Mm. What made Joseph avoid sin? What made Joseph get rid of sin? It's not the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. It's because he, he knew he had a higher calling. He cannot stoop low. Wow. The moment you know that God works with you, God values you, you're treasured, you're loved, you don't stoop low to a low life. Mm. So I think it's about time we knew who we are in Christ that helps us to live to that standard. Right. So Joseph's character is not molded by rules and regulations. Mm. It's molded by God's love and grace. Wow. So he is able to say no to anything below his value. Mm -hmm. And he's a Hebrew. So, um, and, and then what happens? Uh, the Potiphar's wife says, this guy wanted to rape me. And Potiphar is angry. Remember, this guy is the chief executioner. Mm -hmm. So it's an old joke. Mm -hmm. So if... Imagine, I was thinking, I was reading that part, eh, and I'm thinking, did, the, did Potiphar really believe his wife? Because if he did believe his wife, he would have... <laughs> Had Joseph killed. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, some view verses uh, earlier, we saw that he saw that the Lord was with Joseph. Yeah. So there's something about us that glows, mm. and that is what defends our lives. Mm. Our personality, our character in Christ can save your life. Mm -hmm. That's what, uh, There's a verse in Proverbs that says that uh, our character saves life. Mm. So he was thrown into a prison. Now he's getting further from his dreams, from a house help to a prisoner. Mm. And Joseph never had a chance to defend himself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are faced with challenges and we don't have a chance to defend our cause. Let God fight our battles. Wow. Sometimes it's so discouraging, something happens. And you know, I was thinking not one every in prison is a criminal. Mm -hmm. Just because someone is in prison, it doesn't mean God is not with them. It doesn't mean they, are, they did something evil. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. That's right. But the presence of troubles is not the absence of God. Mm. Just because you're going through some challenges doesn't mean God left you. Mm -hmm. I love what the Bible says after he went to prison. It says, even there, even there, mm. the Lord was with him. Mm. You know, and he was made in charge of all the prisoners. You know, I'm thinking there's something different about Joseph. And the Bible says, Sakal, God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. 
even though he's unlearned, he doesn't know the ways of uh, Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Wherever he is put, he has a kind of wisdom that is beyond books. Mm. When he was uh, in Potiphar's house, he was made a supervisor over everything. When he went to prison, he was made in charge. Mm -hmm. Even the prison warden uh, left all the duties to Joseph. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're not that learned. Maybe yeah. you don't have the degrees, yeah. but you should not despise yourself. Wow. God has given us wisdom beyond what universities and schools can offer. Amen. Do not look down yourself. When people are looking down on you, don't look down yourself. Mm -hmm. You can do things beyond what normal human beings can do because the Lord is with you. So that's how to respond when, uh, when you're facing uh, like educational background isn't that strong. Do not respond with how people see it. Yeah. Like if you're not up to this uh, uh, level, mm. then you can't do this. There's nothing you can't do if the Lord is with you. Wow. Wow, really incredible. And I mean, what a story that Joseph's life is. And I love how you've emphasized that um, the absence of trouble doesn't mean that you're right with God. Yes. Neither does the presence of trouble <laughs> exactly. mean that you're exactly. on the wrong <laughs> yes. with God. In fact, many times <coughs> it's actually the opposite. Yes. The absence of trouble, you kind of have to start questioning, hey, like, am I still walking with You're in God? agreement with the devil, so yeah. it doesn't have a problem with you. <laughs> and that's the truth. If your life is just going, you need to pause and think, I, okay, am I actually walking with God? Because, you know, the scripture does say that in this life, we will face many troubles mm -hmm. because of choosing his name and choosing God's name. And I, and I, I just love how Joseph like really just stuck to his guns yeah. like and he was immovable mm. in his faith mm. um and so even with you know uh, when you're when you're a house help you know as he was and then potiphar's wife is there you know trying to get him mm. uh in bed with her and he i love how this i've never i just i always stick on that part how the scripture says he did not because he did not want to sin against God. Yeah. Not even Potiphar, who's been so yeah. gracious. He uh, wasn't there negotiating uh, with her. No, unajua mama. It wasn't like that. He was just like, forget Potiphar, yeah. forget you. I am not going to sin mm. against God. Yeah. And that's always really mm. struck me. Mm. And I wonder how many of us would actually follow the same example. Like, what sort of situations does life put us in and do we actually mm. say, I am not going to sin Do we consider men's God? opinion first or, or God's, God's opinion, opinion first? first? Right. Like, there are things you can do just because of someone. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to do that. Like, so-and-so <laughs> yeah. is around. I don't yeah. want to do that. What yeah. if they're not around? Yeah. And I think integrity is merging what you say and what you do. I, mm -hmm. Your actions and your word integrate. Mm -hmm. So what you say when there's no, when people are around, would you stick stick to the same words mm. and uh, integrate with your actions when no one is around. Yeah. So it's not about people. It's yeah. about you and God. Yeah. Because he's everywhere you are. Yeah. Like he, 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 he walks with you. Even when you're in the washroom, wherever yeah. you are, he can see you. Yeah. So it's, do we have that personal relationship or we do it for people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let me touch on some more um, SMSs here. Remember, our SMS line is now triple one, triple four, triple one. And uh, someone here is saying, um, good morning, Joyce. Really listening from Likuyani, the story of Joseph. That's Anne Wanderia Santisana. Um, someone else says, loving the show. And it's exciting to talk about Bible personalities. That's Becky from Kisarian. Um, loving the show. Someone else says, a Bible study about the unjust sufferings that Joseph endured and the good that God brought about through them. Also, throughout his journey, Joseph learned to have humility. That's Sarah from Karatina. And indeed, he had to learn that eventually. I mean, mm. at first, so his whole persona really changed from going around to his brothers, flaunting mm. his mm. dream and mm. flaunting how he's going. they're going to be serving him and bowing down mm. to him to now, like, he's been seriously yeah. humbled. And something happens in the prison, yeah. a turnaround of his life. Like, remember, it started with a dream. But his dreams doesn't seem to come true. Mm -hmm. But in the prison, he starts interpreting other people's dreams. That's right. That's humility. Yeah. Yours is not working, but God puts in a position, you should help others. Whoa, that's deep. And, and, and when the dreams of those two guys came true, he told the guy who was to leave and to be restored in his position in the king's palace, told him, please, when you go, please remember me. Wow. And by the Bible says, when that guy went, he forgot everything up. Don't put your trust in me. Mm. People may forget you, but God never will. Mm -hmm. People may get tired of you, but God will never will. And this is what happens. 
God designs a dream in Pharaoh's head mm. that only Joseph can interpret. Oh. God can design a certain problem that only you can solve. Mm. And this is what happens, uh, flash forward. The day, then uh, the king calls for uh, Joseph because he's the only guy in Egypt who can do that. All the magicians and the wise men in Egypt can't do that. So Joseph comes and the Bible says he interpreted the dream and the day his, he interpreted the dream of Pharaoh is the day his dream came true. Wow. Because he told Pharaoh everything and, and then Pharaoh said, uh, Joseph told Pharaoh, hey, what you need to do is get a man who is wise enough to store food for seven years mm -hmm. because there's going to be years of plenty before the years of luck comes. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh says, where can we, how else can we find a man full of God's spirit wow. like you are? So that day, Akapo Mamlaka, and he became the prime minister. Mm -hmm. and, and Pharaoh said, apart from me, you're, you're second in command. Mm -hmm. But in the things, um, uh, in leadership, things to do with leadership and uh, uh, being the king of the country, I am only ahead of you. Mm. But all the other authority belongs to you. From house help to prisoner to second in command. Exactly. Even the graph wow. is not flowing. <laughs> now, <laughs> check. All. The day Joseph interpreted another man's dream is the day his dream came true. That's really profound because, and it speaks to how sometimes I think because we're so driven to chase our own goals and our own ambitions, he could have been in the prison just like, ah, you deal with yourself, I'm not going to tell you anything. Yes. But by doing that that's how he sort of unlocked his gift exactly. in a sense yes. um and how 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 profound that is that really when we think we're actually guarding and protecting yeah. ourselves yeah. we are self-centered <laughs> we're, self we're locking ourselves yeah we're not actually opening up our hands to receive the blessings that god has when jesus came he had a dream that he would save mankind and man's dream ever is to be saved like every man's dream is to be with God. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus came to fulfill man's dream, his dream came true. Mm. So we can learn the same even in, in this life. Your dream, being here, is my dream fulfilled. I want to come here, I want to preach to the world. Mm. So when you fulfill my dream, that's when your dream is coming true. Mm. So it's not about ourselves. It's for God who so loved the world, he gave. Mm -hmm. Our dream coming true is through giving. Wow. It's not about ourselves. Wow, really profound. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, I know my time is, is, is fleeting here. So I'm going to try and read a few more SMSs as you also get ready to give us your parting shot here and then you'll pray. Um, but uh, someone here has says, good morning, Joyce and beautiful day. The Lord has allowed us to see that's very encouraging words for a bright Monday morning. Asante Sana Flora from Thogoto says, good morning, Joyce and Percy. It's a bright Monday um, that God has given and you're inspired. I have Emmanuel watching the show as well. Um, someone here says, The story of Joseph blesses me because he had a vision of being the king. So everything he saw in his dreams, he believed with his heart. And that's why even when he was rejected and sold, he believed what he saw and not what he was going through in the hands of his brothers. Mm. And Joseph's story, I mean, so already it's a... a, a miraculous story really by every means of it and then now his family comes yes the same people that <laughs> caused him all of this trouble in the first place and he, he told them please don't feel bad that you sold me off it was not you it is god who brought me beforehand that mm -hmm. i may save you mm -hmm. so when you know what you're called for you don't argue with men you don't fight with men because you know you are serving a higher purpose mm. all things work together for good yeah not only the good things, because we love, we love to say, to quote that verse when everything is go going well. Right. But when things are not going well, don't love to quote that. It's all things, yeah. good and bad. Yeah. So in the, uh, the mix of good and the bad experience he had, he knew, surely God has, must have planned for this to happen that I may save my people. Mm -hmm. He went in uh, to Egypt like a slave so that his brothers will come with honor and glory. That's our Jesus. Mm -hmm. He suffered our shame that we may walk in glory. So, all things, all things work together for good. Don't judge things because they're not going well. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking when he's in prison, the darkest hour is nearest dawn. When he's like, he's being pushed to the farthest, is when he's closest. 
2014, God gave me a quote. I'm mm -hmm. going to finish with this. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, I was really going through some hard times, and he told me, um, January may seem to be the farthest month to December, mm. but it is the closest month from December. Mm -hmm. God can turn tables around, mm. you know. So let's not give wow. up. Let's stick by what God said. Yeah. Let's stick to the dream. His ways are much than our ways, and his thoughts are not our thoughts. Mm. When your plans don't succeed, it's not God's plan. Don't tag God fair. Mm -hmm. It's your plan that didn't work. <laughs> God's plans must work. Wow. <laughs> yes. I like that. <laughs> yes. If your plans didn't succeed, it's the yeah, God's plan didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> that was your plan. Yeah, that was your plan. Because God never fails. He has greater plans for us. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you to give right. a hope and a future. So you may have plans and then they fail. You may have a network of people who thought they should help you, but they failed. Mm -hmm. It's not God's network. God's network is working. Mm -hmm. God is, says, I'll, sons of foreigners will build up your walls, people that you don't know. It's God's network. Mm -hmm. So when your people around you, when things around you don't work as you expected, please don't tag God. Mm -hmm. God a game. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> wow, Jacob, thank you so much for coming and just sharing this word Always with us today. And uh, I certainly, you know, just uh, continue to just grow in admiration of Joseph, um, even just from the insights that you've shared with us today. And I trust that you watching uh, do feel the same. So I want to ask you to just pray for us. All right. Um, uh, there might be people who, and you know, they have these humongous dreams. 2020 was supposed to be their year. This was the year they were going to be the kings yes. and the queens. Yes. <laughs> and uh, maybe they found themselves as, you know, slaves or, mm. or prisoners of one thing or another. Mm. Um, would you pray that we would all just kind of stay the course mm. and keep our eyes mm. fixed on who God has actually said that we are and to trust that he will get us there mm. in his time. All right. Yeah. Shall we pray? Lord, we thank you today. Thank you for your grace and mercies that are new and fresh every day. Lord, in our own strength, sometimes we want to give up. Father, you, sometimes we feel like it's not what we thought. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our dreams seem uh, dim, Lord. Sometimes we feel like David. The first anointing is like it's dried up. We need another anointing. But we know that all things work together for good. Right now, if, if anyone is discouraged or weary because they've been trying so hard Father, I speak strength into them. Lord, you say in your word, Ephesians 3.20, that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly above what we ask or imagine. You can do beyond our imaginations, Lord. Those dreams that you don't want to share with people, Father, we know that you have the power and the wisdom and the love to make it work for us. Lord, help us not to depend on ourselves. Help us not to put confidence in our own flesh. Help us not to depend in our own understanding. Help us to let you do it according to your way. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the way that things work. Help us to submit. Lord, if there's someone who has given up, Father, I pray, just like you, 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 you brought Lazarus back to life, even if it's four days dead. That dream is four days. Father, I speak life into that dream mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And I pray, by the end of the year or sometime to come, people will have wonderful praise, praise reports from this show. We give you glory and we give you honor. It is in Jesus' name we do pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Jacob. Thank Always you. a pleasure to have you. Thank you. And uh, how can people get in touch with you? Uh, Jacob Zakfu on Facebook, on YouTube, and or on Instagram. And then maybe my number, yeah. uh, 0726 507786. 0726 507786. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We do appreciate you. And with Thank that you. said, guys, we're going to take a break now as we get ready.